Hey guys, it's Lisa from Turning Pages. You're not going to be seeing me in this video today because I am doing a desk tour and um, I just didn't have the time to get ready and I really wanted to get this video up today. So what you see right now is where my old bookshelf used to be right here. I have a second bookshelf right next to it. You guys have probably seen this in multiple videos, if not every single one of them. And here was my old shelf. I decided to get rid of it along with some books. And I decided to buy myself a desk, a little side cabinet sort of thing, as well as a um, desk chair and a desk lamp. So, um, without further ado, let's just get into it and let's see what I have. So the first thing right here is my printer, and this is the Maxify Canon MB2020. I haven't used it all too much, but this is what I'm using for my Etsy shop, and this is also what I'm using for school. So underneath is actually a filing cabinet kind of hanger thing where you would hang the file folders. I am still going out to buy that and then put my scrapbook paper in, but I just haven't found any really cute ones that I liked. Um, most of them are like the manila folders and I don't really like that but I did put this box up here what's in here is basically things that I use to ship off Etsy orders so there's envelopes there's thank you cards there's stickers there's these little plastic bags to put the products in and all kinds of stuff so it's really random but it's basically the box I grab when I need to ship off a Etsy package or an Etsy order then what's down here is currently not only what I'm currently working on when it comes to Etsy, like this stuff right here, but also kind of like my tools. So there's glitter, there's a ruler, there's some scissors in here, there's a paper cutter in here. I'm sorry if you can't see, but the lighting's kind of awkward right here. Um, and all kinds of different stuff. So that's there. And then the drawer underneath is a couple of notepads, different things like that, basically brand new notebooks. And on the very bottom are like those clear sheet protectors. So that's what I have in here. Then you get to the top of my desk and I really like a clean top. So there isn't too much there. Right now I have this here, I have my laptop, I have a little notepad and some other things. But I usually like to have the front clear to write on or to quickly sit down and get something done. So you're gonna see the first thing are these two containers that are like to hold paper or notebooks or books and things like that. And I bought these at Office Max or Office Depot, I'm not sure, but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and put the link down below. I bought two of those, and in this first one are kind of like unused notebooks. So I didn't know where else to put them. I thought they still looked nice because they weren't used yet and weren't crinkly or ripped or anything, so I figured I'd just put them here. Then I have some cardstock paper to print my business cards on. Then I have some random folders. Then I have two packs of lined paper that are still closed. And then I have a whole bunch of lined paper and graph paper that are open that I need to use up before I open this. Then there's not too much here. And then you're gonna see my laptop. This is the laptop I use for my Etsy and blogging and things like that. I got a brand new laptop for school just recently um, as a gift, so I'm really thankful for that and I'm really excited to use it. I haven't really done too much with it, but this is my trusty old laptop even though it's falling apart. Then right here I usually have a, a little notepad, so in case I need to write something down like when I can buy my parking permit um, and just remind myself through that. Then right here, I bought these two little containers just the other day at the Target dollar spot under the Halloween section. I got a, obviously a white one and a black one. They're each only a dollar. The black one has mechanical pencils in it and things like that. And the pens are in the white one along with this little flower that I have. Then I have this desk lamp. I'm not sure how that's gonna work with my camera. But this desk lamp I also bought at Office Max. It was originally $49.99, but because they had marked the price incorrectly in the store, they gave it to me for the price that it was marked, which was $17.99, which is an amazing deal. Then the chair I'm using looks like this. And it was also actually on clearance. Oh, there we go. 
This chair, it was also actually on clearance. Originally, I think it's $150 to $160 or right around there. Again, if I can find it, I will link it down below. And I picked it up for right around $89. It was on sale. And then if you have a membership card, you get 10% off. All right. So then the last two drawers I have to show you are these ones. And the top one is actually my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and save it for last. And then we have the bottom and let's see what we have. The bottom is actually pretty empty. Um, this is the instruction booklet to how to build the desk. And if I ever want to reverse it so I can have the drawers on this side of the desk or on this side, I can easily do that. So right here, I just have a container of markers that still work. I went through all my markers and all my pens and things like that. And I picked out all the markers that weren't working anymore. And this is basically what's left. I don't use them too often, but I usually like to write myself colorful notes. What's in here is one of those boxes that I bought at Ikea. Again, if I can find it, I will link it down below. And what's in here are some crayons. I have some sticky notes. I have a pencil case full of colored pencils. All kinds of just random things that I didn't really know where to put and that I don't really use very often. I felt like I could just go right in there and it wouldn't be really in the way or, you know, too crowded. Then we're getting to my favorite drawer, which is this. And I'm so sad that you guys can't really see all that well. So let me try something real quickly. Okay, so I rearranged the desk lamp. So I hope you can see a little bit better. I bought this filing basket at Target for $5.99, which is an amazing deal. And I filled it with all kinds of things. For example, pins, staplers, note cards, hot, um, not hot glue, but tape, a calculator. Highlighters are all right here. Sharpies on this side. Colorful pens over here. Down here I have erasers. I have glue sticks. Here I have some smaller sticky notes and sticky tabs, um, lead, um, more lead, all kinds of stuff. And towards the back right back there, I have glue, I have extra staples, and I have pencils and a sharpener in case I need to take um, standardized tests. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have in my desk. It's not very much because I am trying to keep it very basic and very minimalistic. That was really hard for me to say. Anyways, so I'm trying to keep it really, you know, clean and organized and not crowded. So this is what I have. Also, the desk will be linked down below in case you guys are interested. Um, anything I can find will definitely be linked. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to get to work. I can't wait to, for school to start. I can't wait to get some th new merchandise on Etsy. I am just so excited and, um, so pumped to see what I can get done here. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later.